Hi, welcome to Storytime for the week of March 22nd. Today, I'm going to be reading some mole stories. If you'd like a mole craft kit, you can pick it up at the library in the children's department anytime we're open. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 973-538-6161. Let's start. Our first story is A Friend for Mole. Mole was quite fond of his cozy burrow. He liked his soft bed of leaves, the warm smell of the earth, and the quiet darkness all around. Snug underground, he felt activity above him, tapping rain, buzzing insects, scampering footsteps. All these sounds helped Mole imagine the world outside. One day, Mole heard loud shouting and laughter overhead. His burrow shook and dirt drifted down from the ceiling. What was happening? He decided to take a peek. The bright light, loud noises, and new smells were overwhelming. Mole blinked and rubbed his eyes. Oh no, he thought. This was a bad idea. Mole tried to get back to his home, but he couldn't find the opening. He panicked and began to run. But then he tripped over a root. And tumbled into a bush. Inside, it was dark and quiet. It reminded him of home. Mole was exhausted, but he knew <clears throat> before he knew it, he had fallen asleep. When Mole woke up, it was night. He heard a rustling noise. Something was out there. Oh no, thought Mole. Please don't let that something be scary. Mole closed his eyes and pretended not to be there. But it was too late. Are you afraid of the dark too, a voice whimpered. What, Mole blinked? No, he whispered. I'm afraid of the light. Mole felt bolder. Who are you, he asked. I'm me, the creature said. I'm Wolf. Some animals were chasing me. I ran away, and now I'm lost, and I'm scared. Wolf was afraid, too. Mole was surprised. What could they do? They thought and thought. And then they both said, I think I can help you. I'll stay with you while it's dark, Mole said, and I'll help you find your way home in the morning, Wolf said. They both agreed it was an excellent plan. Now Mole and Wolf felt very brave. To pass the time, they made up all kinds of games. Wolf showed Mole how to hunt imaginary slithering creatures. Mole taught Wolf how to stamp out pretend scampering bugs. <clears throat> but the best game of all was chasing away scary monsters. They were both very good at that. It was all so much fun that they forgot all about being lost and scared. The sun rose over the horizon and suddenly Mole thought about home. Wolf was also feeling homesick. It's time to be on our way, he said. Together they searched for Mole's burrow and Wolf's den. Wolf used his big tail to shade Mole's eyes from the bright sun. His soft fur was tick tick tickly. Mole giggled. Soon Mole could smell familiar scents. He knew they must be close to his home. Is that your burrow, Wolf asked? Yes, yes, cheered Mole. I'm home. Now Mole felt sad. It was time to say goodbye. Will you be okay, he asked Wolf. I'll be fine, said Wolf. I can see the big trees that are near my den. I live really close to here. Mole realized that he would miss his new friend. Can we play again sometime soon, he asked. Yes, shouted Wolf. That was so much fun. I was scared, but having you there made everything okay. 
Mole knew exactly what wolf meant. And that is a friend for Mole. Our next one is what a treasure. The day Mole got his new shovel, he started to dig for treasure. Good luck, said his father. Have fun, said his mother. I bet you won't find any treasures worth keeping, said his brother. Mole dug. He dug until he found a twig. Bird flew down. Oh, what a treasure, he chirped. Just what I need for a sturdy nest. Why don't you keep it, said Mole, and he began to dig some more. Mole dug and dug. He dug until he found a shell. Snail crept over. Oh, what a treasure, she exclaimed. It's just what I need for a cozy house. Why don't you keep it, said Mole, and he began to dig some more. Mole dug and dug and dug until he found an acorn. Squirrel scampered near. Oh, what a treasure, he chattered. It's just what I needed for a delicious dinner. Why don't you keep it, said Mole, and he began to dig some more. Mole dug and dug and dug and dug. He dug until he found another hole. Oh, what a treasure, Mole shouted, as up popped a little mole. You are just what I need and want. A friend. What luck, said his father. Have fun, said his mother. I bet you'll keep this treasure, said his brother. Of course, why not, said Mole. Of course, answered his Mole's new friend. Then Mole and his friend began to dig some more. And that is what a treasure. This one is, there's a pest in the garden. Munch, munch. <gasps> there's a pest in the garden. He's eating all the beans. Gulp. What's the pest going to eat next? Quack. That pest is still in the garden, and he's eating all the corn. Gulp. What's the pest going to eat next? Quack. <gasps> peas! Yippee! He ate all the peas. I don't like peas. That Pest is still in the garden and he's eating, he's, he's eaten all the peas. Gulp. What's the pest going to? Quack! What? Quack! You have a plan, duck? Yippee, a plan! Uh, is this part of your plan, duck? That pest just ate up all the turnips. Gulp. <clears throat> so we'll plant a new garden. We know what we need now. A fence to keep the pests out. There's duck and <clears throat> the pest. And that is, there's a pest in the garden. Okay, we're gonna make our mole today. And here's our mole. He's popping out of the ground to say hello to you. 
Okay, in our craft kit, you're going to get the mound of dirt. The mole, the mole's belly, his googly eye, and then you also have a nose and two of his paws. And then if you glue it down on the green piece of paper that you're also given, you get a friendly mole popping out of his burrow to say hello. Enjoy making your mole. Have a good day. Bye-bye for now.